Jesus, look where you're going. What the hell? God be with you. What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Young Sir Hans is our governor, but Sir Hanush is his guardian till he comes of age. That's not a day I'm looking forward to. What's life like in Ratai? This is a manorial town. And our lord hasn't got himself tangled up in affairs of state, so it's peaceful here. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? I know they got nowhere to go. Scalitz is a pile of ashes and the countryside ain't safe. But they've been here too long. Some of those buggers got light fingers, and not a one of them appreciates the sacrifices we made for them. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Everywhere they go, they pillage, rape, and slaughter. Or so the tales have it. Of course, all armies do that, but them barbarians take pleasure in it. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. I'm not sure. I'm just a boy from a forge. Not anymore, lad. Now you're a part of Sir Radzig's retinue. That brings responsibilities. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have, and I have the bruises to prove it. A captain doesn't hold back. The harder the training, the easier the battle. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, bailiff.
Name? Henry. And in fealty too? Sarazic Cobbler. Hmm. Yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um, I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I don't want to be kicking around in the dirt while other men do honest work. You're an eager one, aren't you? Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. This is our church, St. Matthew's. It serves not only as the house of God, that's the crypt of the Lords of Lipa, our masters. 
the grave digger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. Go to the church. Go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that... What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in the square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Fog drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. I think you ought to leave the poor woman be. Ha ha ha. Why should I? Are you sure everything in your business is in order, Master Amra? What are you trying to say? Just checking whether you're aware of the town ordinance saying the furnace of the forge must be at least two L's away from the nearest wooden building? Of course I know. So I can go to the rat house for the measure and check it? You know fire hazards are taken very seriously here. No need. I wouldn't want to put you to any trouble. Well, you can save me a lot of trouble by ending this little disagreement here reasonably. All right. I'll let her stay. No, oh, that didn't hurt, did it? Thank you. Thank you a hundredfold. You're welcome. Just stay clear of trouble in future, understood? Of course. Thank you. That wasn't bad, but you'll be in that fool's bad books for a while. Look where you're going! Your old neighbors are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Sir Hanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Huh? Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here.
much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. We've also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Uh, stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right. I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help him need it, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. Hey. What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sasau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Berhoyen, Master Smil is in charge of the Hanus estate. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exception here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, and so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Whose home was burned to ashes by Sigismund's horde? 
God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it, and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? Uh, uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for a nail. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. Have a drink. That fool got me all worked up. Me as well, the lazy bastard. My words exactly, and just when we need every pair of eyes. You never know when the Cumans might creep up on us. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Why not? Finished. This will be the one. What the hell's with these damn dice? That's it.
Hmm. Your turn. That's it. What the hell's with these damn dice? Hmm. What the hell's with these damn dice? This will be the one. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and... Closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet's, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the Rat House. Ring three times, then go to the Trader's Tavern by the Market Square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Be merciful, good neighbors. I live like you do. Welcome, Henry. Good health to you, Henry. 